My name's Adam Leonard, and I've been playing the upcoming action racing game Agent Intercept from Pickpock. These are my five early impressions and five minutes of my captured gameplay from the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Agent Intercept releases March 30th for Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Back in 1983, Midway Games released Spy Hunter, a high-speed action game where you took the wheel of a high-powered spy vehicle called the Interceptor as you blasted and sped your way through waves of enemy forces. Agent Intercept wears its inspiration on its sleeve, and it's very apparent that the folks at Pickpock were keen on making a spiritual successor to Spy Hunter, with all the dressings of a modern gaming experience. Right out of the gate, Agent Intercept nods to Spy Hunter's marquee vehicle, which in 1983, again, was called the Interceptor. In Agent Intercept, the car is the Scepter. Intercept. Scepter. Interceptor. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Agent Intercept pays homage to its arcade roots with fast and easy pickup gameplay, complete with score tokens to accrue, boost icons to propel your Scepter forward, and weapon pickups such as heat-seeking missiles and pop-up machine guns. The game is very fast, flashy, and fun, which makes for a great game that's easy to pick up in short bursts. They're firing on a city! Change of directive! Stop that missile! Speaking of bursts, your scepter will transform to meet the demands of each mission, again, much like the classic Spy Hunter. I won't spoil all the cool tricks and transformations that the scepter undertakes in the game, because honestly that's half the fun, and some of the crazy action I got into had me belly laughing at just how stylish and ridiculous Agent Intercept can be. This car, or this boat, is totally awesome. You're gonna need to make use of every function of the Scepter to defeat the enemy threat in Agent Intercept, and those threats can be mighty imposing. While you might think that an on-rails car combat game can only offer so much in regards to gameplay variety, you will be caught off guard by some of the dynamic and dangerous boss encounters you come across here. There are no limits to the challenges you can overcome in your Scepter from land to sea to air and beyond. Agent Intercept has some truly white knuckle boss fights. Emergency briefing. Claw has wasted no time ramping up their activity. Field intelligence indicates a prison break at Tartarus Gates. But that's a highly fortified black site. Finally, Agent Intercept has all the charm and bubblegum fun of a Saturday morning cartoon. The characters are overacted and overemotional in just the right way, the enemies are over the top with goofy menace, and of course the action gets more and more absurd as each mission in the game plays out like an episode of one of your favorite cartoons. This could provide more data! Agent Intercept knows exactly what kind of game it wants to be, and it had me feeling like a kid with a fistful of quarters all over again. You can find out for yourself when Agent Intercept launches March 30th, and keep it tuned right here to youtube.com slash megadads for our final review on that very same day. I'm scanning multiple weapons on that sub. Be careful on approach. Ah, an agent to duel. Allow me to make the first move. Ares couldn't stop you, but the mountain might. <laughs> 